Hey guys, so um, just something real quick. Got here a uh, little maximizer pouch. Um, found out, um, you know, been carrying so much junk in my pockets. And I've gotten away at work now long enough that nobody really cares anymore with wearing uh, cargo pants. So I started thinking, you know, I got to get some of this stuff. And also in my get home bag. Uh, which is really my everyday carry bag, you know, to carry everything at, to work with, uh, which includes a lunch. But, um, you know, can I get some of the stuff out of the bag, make it a little lighter, a little less packed, and still have everything I need? And I sort of got this idea. This is one of uh, Maxpedition's um, mini, it's, one, it's the smallest pouch they carry. And it's just perfect. It fits... Um, fits right in a, a cargo pocket um, on one of my legs uh, easy quick um, so real quick go through it uh, band-aids always carry band-aids I'm cutting myself constantly uh, at work so what else is in it well basic stuff uh, here's some chapstick use that a lot um, and this little pouch matches um, there's a small uh, Olight flashlight so it, you know, you always got it with you. Uh, I've always got another flashlight with me, but just for the heck of it, um, here's a, uh, a small fire steel. Um, it's an Ecotec, I think. Um, so again, nice something to uh, you know, start a fire with in an emergency. Uh, obviously, that's what the uh, uh, matches are for. Uh, got this little small um, uh, knife. Uh, you know really tiny uh, it's not going to do you much good for anything except to uh, you know maybe slice something really quickly uh, um, you know for maybe a band-aid or whatever but I just thought you know hey I had enough room in here uh, let's go ahead and, and get some this is a cheapy thing from uh, it's about 10 bucks or something on eBay uh, I'm gonna look for something else but quit right off the top of my head everything that I could find out there um, in the universe was um, uh, you know some of the EC stuff and Beckers and, and Becker Neckers and stuff, they're a little too big to fit in here. So um, the other thing here, again, some even some more matches. Um, and a wet tinder, again, just for emergency type stuff. Um, and some uh, little tinder, um, I forget what the heck they call them now, uh, but you, uh, you, you kind of spread them apart. They're like cotton. Um, again quick and easy a lot of this stuff flat as flat as I can get it so it doesn't bulk up too much um, inside um, the other side here a little small um, it's just a little um, it's not even a Swiss knife one but it's just a very small little pen knife type you know it's got a couple of blades that come out of it just again to have something small just for small detail stuff um, on the other side it's one of the um, Oh gosh, I can't remember what they call them, P something, the uh, can opener, military type can opener, again, you never know. Uh, this is a set of tweezers, um, so you can, I don't know if you got to pull a splinter or something, that happens fairly frequently, so I, I wanted to have something like that in there. Um, some uh, in here, this little bag here, um, probably pretty hard to see, but these are... Um, uh, alcohol swabs, uh, a neosporin type, uh, some neosporin type stuff, uh, and a, uh, some hand sanitizer, uh, that kind of stuff. Again, so if you get a cut somewhere out there. Uh, and finally, again, there's some sting relief uh, and then some other swabs, uh, which we've got here. Uh, oh, antiseptic towelette and a sterile alcohol pad. So again, pretty much what you would need for quick first aid and fire starting, uh, and it's always in my pocket. Uh, never, it's always I take it with to work with me. Anytime I'm out anywhere, except right around the yard, maybe doing yard work, I, I wear you know grungy clothes, and I don't stick something like this in my pocket or my cell phone or anything else. Uh, but um, you know everything you need to get set up, get a quick setup. Um, so I've always got it with me. Um, again, Maxpedition. Um, great little thing uh, and you can even use this as an organizer and throw it in a bag if you wanted to um, but I just really wanted to have something like this on me at all times uh, and I 
and I just um, I started getting tired of having everything being carried in a uh, um, in pockets uh, loose and then in a bag that you have to have the bag with you this thing if I happen to be anywhere and I get a cut I'm good to go I can fix myself up uh, even if it's dark I got a little you know flashlight I can hold it in my mouth and and off I go into the wild blue yonder but uh, just thought that was a quickie to let everybody see um, just something I came up with uh, biggest thing I want to do is at some point is figure out a better little little knife uh, I, I don't like wearing neck knives but I like having a small knife like this on me uh, I got the pen knife too uh, but this is be a little more functional uh, for anything uh, um, that was more heavy duty than what you could use the pen knife for that's why I grabbed this but I, I do need a replacement for this at some point so any suggestions uh, it's got to be less than six inches um, and I, you know flat as possible with this had a it's kind of a fake leather vinyl uh, sleeve and and that's that's fine you know sheath and, and that's perfect for it keeps it from from cutting me up and uh, if I reach in there but it's you know it's not it's functional enough but it's flat that was the whole point is to try to keep the bulk of this down it's somewhat bulky uh, and you can tell it's in my pocket but um, you know for I'll tell you what a couple times at work I actually had a situation where it was me and another guy were doing something he cut himself and you know 10 seconds later I'm putting a band-aid on his finger he's like holy crap you carry all that hey <laughs> yes it's called being prepared all right thanks guys really appreciate it uh, just something real quick wanted to show you thanks a lot